Love. It makes you do crazy things. It makes your head spin. It makes your heart race. Love takes your breath away. When you fall in love, you fall hard. What a devastating love. Love hurts. entrance those of you who have been glued to the television over the last few hours will of course know that that is the theme to this year's olympics yes not bad it's <clears throat> those two weeks of um well wall to wall three sport. isn't it three weeks. three weeks three weeks i think wall to wall sport yeah. so um we're going to be hearing a lot mm. more of that piece of music so we're here, it's the 27th of July. I think we're both fully refreshed after a simply wonderful retreat um, led for us, a benefits retreat read, led for us by um, Emma Pennington, the canon missioner at Canterbury Cathedral, a week reflecting on the concept of peace yeah. in our troubled world. Troubled world. Sorry, so, didn't think you were going to say the last bit. Go on, you, you no, finished no, no, that. No, that <laughs> yes, that is it. So peace in a troubled yeah. world. It was a really lovely time. Gorgeous cooking. Great um, I don't think you can afford to stay there for more than about a week, otherwise you'd end up uh, coming back seriously overweight. You but, would. But yeah. we're still slim. And beautiful um, company. It's yeah. lovely, lovely really people. Good. It was fantastic. So we are refreshed and uh, we're ready to think about the Olympics. Talking of overeating, and that leads us neatly onto the subject of exercise, doesn't it? Does indeed. It? And yes. Eric Liddell. Yes. Or is it Little? No, know. that's that's a supermarket. Yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, he was known as the Flying Scotsman. You probably know about uh, Eric Liddell uh, because uh, his story was immortalised in the film Chariots of Fire. Um, and uh, just to sum it up, really, that at the 1924 Olympic Games, coincidentally held in Paris, uh, Eric Liddell refused to run in the 100 metres because uh, it was held on a Sunday. And as a uh, committed Christian, he felt... He couldn't run on the Lord's Day and uh, went on to win, however, the 400 metres, I think. Mm. Um, and uh, anyway, his story is told in today's Connect Up. And what followed his um, athletics career? Indeed. Mm. We also can learn a little bit about um, Sitius, Altius, Fortius. Faster, stronger, higher. We spent some time in the office yesterday working out which one of... Uh, uh, us two and Andy was faster, stronger or higher. Well, you run, so you must be uh, Sitius. That's faster. <laughs> is that right? Uh, clearly, Andy is taller than I, so he must it's be Fortius, higher. so yep. he must be higher. So that leaves me with Altius. Stronger. stronger. There we go. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> right, so a little the bit about the uh, Olympics there to start us off uh, in today's Connect Up. Yes. And uh, after that, you can also find out about the worship in our churches tomorrow. And there's a few little subtle changes to the um, order of our services tomorrow. So for a start, if you are at Newenden at 9.30 or Appledore at 11, you are going to be celebrating Lammas with a Lammas Eucharist. So this agricultural festival that marks the bringing in of the first sheaf of corn and making use of that to uh, make the bread for Holy Communion. So those services are taking place tomorrow. And yes, and then uh, there's a whole digest of items uh, oh, and okay. events, happenings and uh, other things. Do you want to finish uh, services first? <laughs> oh yes, oh saying, yes. Forest Church and Ecclesia. Oh, sorry, Queen. yeah, I'm with you now. <laughs> um, Forest Church at two o'clock, Rolvenden Churchyard uh, tomorrow. Um, and uh, hopefully, if it's like, well, like right. today, yeah. hopefully it'll be a really good day for Forest Church. So, yeah. um, so come along to that. And then at six o'clock, uh, we trek across the road uh, from St Mildred's to Zion Baptist Church for an ecumenical evening service. 
uh, and joined with our other uh, churches in Tenterden and district and have a good old time. Well, yeah. Go on, now talk about what's well, coming up. Well, I was going up. to say uh, we have a whole <laughs> a plethora of events coming up. It's all itemised there in Connect Up today. Mm-hmm. Um, Wittisham Open Gardens, where that will be held uh, on Tuesday, 30th of July. Uh, there's flower festivals, pie and pint announcements, Sunday afternoon teas at Wittisham. Um, oh, and if you, uh, talking of flower festivals, mm. if you want to be part of a, an Appledore Flower Festival scratch choir, um, uh, which uh, is going to be put together, lovingly assembled, to sing hymns to all the people who come to Upper Door Flower Festival on Sunday the 25th of August from 3 o'clock till about 3.50, 4 o'clock. Um, now, as we put here, if you are more Pavagrotti than Pavarotti, <laughs> then fret not because you don't actually have to be any good, just very enthusiastic. So um, if you want to be part of the choir, Contact Faye Steed, whose email address appears in today's Connect Up. Yes, so that should be very good. And of course, as well as Appledore Flower Festival on the August Bank Holiday, we also have flower festivals in Rolvenden yes. and Small Hythe. So do set aside some time to go and visit all the wonderful work which will be created in those churches. Mm-hmm. Right, yes. Now, mm. uh, the Introduction to Christian Meditation course starts on the 7th of August, uh, and that's a Wednesday evening Um, series of sessions uh, run by Sharon in our team uh, which uh, provide an introduction to Christian meditation Mm -hmm. to experience it uh, in a group in a small group and what to discover I guess if it's for you Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, many people do respond to that opportunity to have a quiet bit of contemplation uh, in all the busyness of life so there's information there about that and uh, uh, phone number for you to ring as well or any email address yes or both indeed yes all of those things yeah you know now, go on. Are, we, are we moving on to birthdays well i was simply going to say um in between the early morning yawns that uh there's a whole host of stuff in connect up uh, today as always mm. so we've only given you a tiny tiny little taster yes. of everything that lies in store for you once you open the riches <laughs> that is of connect up <laughs> fabulous good stuff yes so it. it is it is birthdays we've forgotten to get a taper so i was just gonna right. i will go and get one go on then hang on we'll just uh, witter on yeah um well <laughs> i will <laughs> i will i will say yes who the birthdays belong to so um sue vickers uh, celebrates a birthday on monday Anne Atwater and Hazel Fazani celebrate a birthday on Tuesday. Shirley Puckett's birthday will be on Wednesday. And William Morley, Arch oh. Folder, live stream operator, uh, an all round good egg on Thursday. So I've got um, Sue, Sue Vickers and Anne. Monday. Anne Atwater and Hazel Fazani on Tuesday. Shirley, Shirley on Wednesday. William on Thursday. Um, and William. then you've got. We've got uh, two retrospective birthdays. We have. And th- those birthday good wishes go to Sue Lowry, who had a birthday last Saturday, and Paul Riley, whose birthday was on Sunday. Okay. And we've also got uh, a special wedding anniversary because it's Jeanette and Jeremy's wedding anniversary on Monday. It certainly is. Yes. There we go. You're going to go out for a romantic dinner for two? I don't know yet. <laughs> Shall we do something? Yes. It's, it's the season, isn't it? What is? And wedding anniversary. Well, wedding anniversary. The, the three yes. of us, yourself and Carol and Andrew yeah, and Rona, yes, also, right. we, all, yeah. we all have our wedding anniversaries yeah. in the next week or two. Yes, right. right. Okay. okay, so there's I'll a be ready. candle Got for that. Got my crib sheet here. Okay, good. Right. Yes, we need the crib sheet today. No, you've cunningly blown out the table. Oh, I've done it again. Mm. After all these years. Do you want to do that bit today? Do that there bit. we are, you do the flame thrower. Own, you can't light your own uh, sparkly candle. True. Right, here we go. Nicely done. Right. Okay. <coughs> are you ready? Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, dear Sue, Anne, and Hazel, Shirley, and William. Oh, and and retrospective too. wishes to, to Paul and Sue. Happy, happy birthday, birthday and a very too. happy wedding anniversary to Jeanette and Jeremy, to them and you. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Hurrah. <laughs> Fabulous. Shambolic. Never mind. Never mind. There we go. We've uh, overcome that series of hurdles. Oh, oh, that was really good. This morning was quite a long jump or a high jump. Um, a little just, relay. But you can just dive in to... Dive in, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah in a synchronised sort of way. <laughs> Do right. send in your suggestions on a postcard. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do a lot better anyway, with us. Yes, now do enjoy the Olympics. Yes, and, do. Um, I know I will. Here we go with yes. the Olympic theme. For 2024 in Paris. Take care, everybody, mm. and we will see you Ooh. very soon. It makes you do crazy things. Excellent. Bye. Bye. It makes your head spin. your heart break.